I am here with some great titles of some awesome books that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Um, I hope you guys had a good summer, even though I'm sure it was a very weird summer than what you've normally had. Um, and as you guys are getting into the new routine of what you know school's gonna be like, I wanted to share some awesome titles that you guys can read because I don't know about you guys, but for me, when things are a little bit, you know, out of the ordinary, um, I find great comfort in a good book and a good story. So let's begin, shall we? Our first story that I want to share with you guys is probably one of my favorite books written by one of my favorite authors. So this one is called PSB 11. Um, and this is a bit of an older title. There are actually, it's actually the first in a trilogy. Oh my gosh. So this story in the first one follows 11 year old Delphine and her sisters Vonetta and Fern. And they're living in the 1960s in Harlem, New York. And Delphine is about to enter the sixth grade. And she's a little kind of nervous about it because also she's the tallest girl in her class. And while it's totally awesome to be tall, she feels very self-conscious about it. And not only that, she's also got to deal with her dad who has a new girlfriend. So that's a little awkward. Her uncle, Daryl, has come back from the war. So this takes place in the 60s, late 70s. So this is like the Vietnam War. And Daryl's, he's got a lot of uh, ghosts he has to deal with from the war. And then she's also got to try and wrangle her two younger sisters, who of course don't listen to a word she has to say, right? She's got so much on her plate. So what does she do? She needs someone to vent to. So she writes a letter to her mom who lives in California. And she, she's writing um, to her mom, trying to get some advice. And her mom always ends each letter with PS, B11. So this is a really fun story about growing up and trying to balance all the different things that come your way. But the biggest piece of advice is just be 11 while you can. Um, this also uh, so it's part of a trilogy. So we've got One Crazy Summer and then we've got, um, remember correctly, um, Gone Crazy in Alabama. These are such fun books. So I highly recommend um, PSB 11 if you like this, continue on with the series. Our next story um, is actually a new book that just came out over the summer. And this one is called One Last Shot by John David Anderson. And this one follows Malcolm. So Malcolm's home life is a bit challenging. His parents are fighting a lot and his dad is super competitive and he always sets these really high expectations that Malcolm feels he can just never meet. So Malcolm tries to find an activity where his dad can't possibly force him to compete, right? So he finds mini golf. Like, how can you, you know, how, how is that competitive, right? Well, little be known as to Malcolm, his dad finds a mini golf tournament to sign him up for. So Malcolm's like, no. However, along the way, um, Malcolm discovers that while well, he's working on this tournament that he meets other kids along the way. And he kind of discovers that maybe being involved in a competition is not all that bad he gets to meet other people who have the same interests and maybe instead of feeling like a disappointment you know he can just find kind of solace in himself however on top of all this he's trying to figure out you know how he can live his best life being himself and he's also got to deal with his parents because they're going through some stuff right now so this one is called one last shot as it just came out over the summer so make sure you guys put this on your list to read uh, another title that I want to share with you guys is also a new one that just came out over the summer. I'm giving you all the insider scoop here. This one is called Fly Back Agnes. And this one is super cute. So 12 year old Agnes hates her life. Her parents are divorced. Uh, she doesn't like her body. She's going through that awkward like 
things are you know changing so and then to top it all off her best friend decides like hey we're not best friends anymore and Agnes is like are you kidding me like this sucks so one summer when Agnes uh, is spending time with her father she decides well I don't want to be Agnes anymore so she completely changes everything about her she decides she's 14 year old Chloe and in Chloe's life, her parents are together, and she's a dancer and an actor, and just has so many friends. Y'all, what do you think's gonna happen when, you know, she's going out there and she's telling people all these lies about herself? Hmm. Yeah, eventually it's gonna come out that, you know, all this is not true. Um, especially when she meets a new friend, Finn. Um, you know, some things are beginning to, to kind of pop out of her perfect life she's painted for herself. Um, and along the same lines, it kind of um, goes with her friend Finn. His cousin owns a raptor rehab, which is where birds come and they heal and then they go back out into the wild. And along the way, Agnes kind of discovers that maybe she needs some healing herself to, you know, live her best life. So that is Flyback Agnes, and this is by Elizabeth Adkinson. My next book I want to share with you guys, and you're sensing a theme here, right? Because it's another new one that came out over the summer. And if you guys liked George by Alex Gino, we've got Rick. This is um, the new one in the series, and I love this. So this is about Rick. So Rick is starting middle school. And he's lived a fairly normal-ish life. I don't like to use the term normal, but he's lived a fairly normal-ish life. And then when he's at school one day, he discovers the Rainbow Spectrum Club. And he's like, what is this? And it is an awesome club where kids get together and they discuss their identity and are, you know, who do they identify as? Are they gay? Are they lesbian? Are they transgender? And Rick begins to question himself he begins to go well maybe maybe I'm you know maybe I'm not attracted to girls and he's beginning to question himself but he's also got to deal with a lot of other things he's got to deal with his family he's got to deal with his grandfather he's got to deal with his best friend who's saying some really mean things and maybe and along the way he discovers that maybe the people that were in his life before maybe don't fit his life now uh, this is a really good coming of age story of Rick trying to figure out who he is and about the people he surrounds himself with. So this is by Alex Gino. And then my last book that I want to share with you guys is called The Space Between Lost and Found. And this one is by Sandy Stark McGinnis. And again, yes, also new. This one is a really good story it follows Cassie and Cassie is uh, 11, 12 years old and she is dealing with the fact that her mom is diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. And for those of you who may not be familiar, Alzheimer's is when your brain doesn't quite connect with the memories that it used to, you can't remember things anymore. And so her mom is dealing with an early onset version. It normally happens when you're much older. Um, so Cassie is totally distraught. So she kind of starts to withdraw from her family and friends and her best friend is trying to reach out and Cassie completely withdraws and she becomes a caretaker for her mom because she's afraid that her mom's going to forget who she is one day. Um, and while she's spending all of her time trying to, you know, help her mom on her mom's bucket list and planning all these amazing things, she's kind of losing herself along the way. Um, and as Cassie kind of works in this journey, she begins to figure out that sometimes it's also really important that when you're caring for somebody else, that you also care for yourself. You guys ever heard the saying, you can't take a glass of water from an empty cup? Yeah, so you gotta make sure you care for yourself. So this one um, is a lot about uh, Cassie, um, you know, learning how to cope with a very difficult situation, but also making sure that she's taking care of herself as well. 
So I'm going to go through um, those books one more time because I kind of went through them kind of fast so in case you missed them. So The Space Between Lost and Found by Sandy Stark McGinnis. Then we talked about Rick by Alex Gino. We also talked about Fly Back Agnes by Elizabeth Adkinson. And then we also talked about One Last Shot by David, by John David Anderson. And then I don't think I actually said the author of the first book, and that's embarrassing for a librarian, but I'll admit it, is PSB 11 by Rita Williams Garcia. I hope that I talked about one book here that really grabbed your attention. You can get these books at the Worthington Library. You can reserve them and you can pick them up via curbside pickup. Or if you guys have access to like a smartphone or a smart device, you guys can download an ebook or an e audiobook and listen to it. So maybe when you're riding your bike around or if you have to do some chores, it happens, friends. You can pop in, pop in the earbuds and you can listen to them. All right, guys. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about these awesome titles. Have a great day.